Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Firebase tutorial and today in this video we are going to optimize the code that we have actually written for the last couple of tutorials. So it's been a while that we are discussing the Firebase database and it's been a little bit boring now. Even if you didn't get bored, I'm actually bored because we have a lot of other things to explore inside the Firebase console. So why we have to waste a lot of times inside this database and we actually know the basics of the Firebase database. Now let's move on to the next part of the Firebase. So actually we have to wrap up the database. So just in case, if I'm pretty sure that we have a lot of things missing inside the Firebase database. So that will be covered once we actually uh, just got a basic idea about the all other features of the firebase so without being said the first thing that we have to do is that you can see from the first video we have written this firebase then android context so this actually this line actually going to navigate the firebase into each of the classes and uh, right now if you try to add the firebase uh, or if you try to add uh, all these lines inside uh, another class then we will have to also add this thing which is called this android set android context so in each time we have to we have to add the reference for the database and we have to point out the firebase into each of the classes to avoid that what we can do is that we can create a custom or a public class that going to spread into all other activity just by navigating that class inside the manifest so what we can do is that we can simply create a public class so just creating an activity that is going to be java class with the exact name of uh, the android app that is going to be in our case we have the firebase app so firebase app now just adding it okay now we have the firebase app that is a public class then what we're going to do is that we can extend that as an application whatever you extend as an application will spread to all other activities and each and every single part of the android app so now we can simply type one create and we have the one create method and just in case if you haven't seen then you can also try to get it by just pressing the control o on the keyboard and simply search for the one create method so we have the one create here just click on that or you can simply type it from here so one create just opening that now after the super dot one create what we have to do is that we have to simply paste the line which is actually the same thing you can paste it or we can manually write it so firebase then set android context so once you're done, the next thing is to point out this class into the Android manifest. So we have to simply add one thing that is to point out the class into this Android. So Android, then name, then Firebase app. So this way we pointer the newly created class into this application and it will be going to get called at the initial point which is actually the one create now closing that okay now this time we can remove this line and pretty sure there will be no any kind of errors so the second thing is that this feature is actually outdated and that's only because according to the latest version of firebase sdk we don't actually have to write all this line because we actually in the uh, at the beginning itself we have added the this google json file which actually have the firebase url which is the same thing that we have given inside here so instead of this we can create a database reference and using that reference we can just navigate directly into the root directory of the firebase database so what we have to do is that we have to simply type database reference then just giving it as something like my database ref okay now what we can do is that just adding the my database ref then equal to then firebase database we have another thing called firebase database then get instance then get reference and that's pretty much it now the get reference is going to get the root of that firebase database and just in case if you have something like the slash user or something like that then you can just add dot child then user okay now that's it so in this case we don't actually have the child which is actually this user so just leaving it as something like this now we can easily remove the first line which is this thing 
deleting that now the third thing is that we can see we have these methods that we just created from the last video so right now we can see the all this method most of the methods are empty and we only have two method which is actually being user so now we have a basic idea about how to get the data from the firebase child and also we have the idea to send the data into this firebase console so in a nutshell we have almost discussed about the basics of this firebase database so if you want then you can i i just i suggest you guys to try all these things by your own because it is much way easy as you can see it, it says one child removed then it is clear that the child has been removed then this method is going to get called so mover and every single thing is according to what it said so i suggest you guys to try all these things by your own so that you will get a clear idea about how this method is going to work so we are about to wrap up this firebase database tutorial and from the next video onwards maybe we'll be covering the the firebase authentication or maybe we'll be covering uh, some other kind of uh, notification push notification or uh, things like that so i hope you guys got the idea and uh, keep in mind that we are not completely wrapping up this database we are just pausing that because as i said at the initial point we have some other things and uh, actually we have a lot of other things to discuss inside the firebase console and that's the reason why i have to pause this video on this point and they move on to the next part of the firebase so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you have any kind of questions or regards then you can add it in the comment section below this video and if you found my tutorials are helpful then hit that like button and just in case if you are new to this channel then hit that subscribe button also so as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out